Hi, I'm Russell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to locate uh, well locations or sample locations on a site map, how to get that location to, to stay on that site map. So we're going to go to our How To Oil Company and click on that. We're going to go to Site Info, then we're going to click on Site Map. So we've previously uploaded a map already. There it is. Uh, I previously uploaded sample locations or well locations. Um, I'm just going to click on the map. It's going to pull up my map. I can zoom in and out by clicking this. I can drag around just by holding down my mouse and, and dragging. But when I want to locate a well, let's say monitoring well number one, I'm going to cursor over number one. It's going to put a location. I can then pull down, these are going to be listed in alphanumeric order. Uh, that's why I selected one first. I can just click one, hit save, and it's going to permanently recognize that location as number one. Uh, I can, you know, come over here to number seven, do that, and go down to number seven. Same thing. And I'll have to go through the whole list this way. Um, if you do go uh, alphanumerically, it actually will save some time. You don't have to scroll through the locations. So it's just a lot faster because the top one will be there. Number three. There's 30 some wells here, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but that's how it works. You can see all of these here. If I do misplace something or for some reason you had to you know, destroy a well, you can take it off. You don't have to put them all on here. If you've got a hot spot, you would just put the wells for that. If you got a hot spot map, you just put the wells for that hot spot. If you're maybe doing a deep aquifer map and a shallow aquifer map, you would, on the deep aquifer map, you would only place the deep aquifer wells on that map. Again, you can have as many maps as you want. Um, you can even do a cross section and place sample locations on a cross section. So all kinds of ways, and I'm sure the users will come up with other ways to do it as well. So, but anyway, that's how you place sample locations on a map. And then once you're completely out of wells or sample locations, this simply would not have a, uh, any data in it. It would just be blank. So um, there it is. So that's how you put sample locations on a map. Thank you.